Hi, and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Susan Live, where you can submit a question, and if we accept your question, you can call in and ask me the question on this show. So we're trying a little bit of a different format today, as you can see, and we have a really great question coming in from our first caller. Let's see if we have her on the line. Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Well, thank you for submitting your question. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, let's hear what you have to ask. Okay. Well, um, I started hormone replacement therapy this past May, and I do the pellets, and I feel so much better. The only thing I'm having difficulty dealing with is that I've gained at least 12 or 13 pounds since oh, May, no. since I started. And, uh, you know, I keep telling them about this and how it's bothering me. And they said that it will even out over time. But um, I just, I've never weighed this much since I was in college back in the 80s. Oh, that's so frustrating. Now, are you getting both estrogen and testosterone? Mm-hmm. I'm doing all, three, yes, in the pellets, right. And then you're taking progesterone probably at night, I'm guessing? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. And I wonder if you uh, went back after your first pellet to have your blood drawn. Usually we would do that six weeks after the first pellet. Yes, yes. And they do. They just did it again last week. So they usually do that, and then they just adjust things. But they've been increasing me slowly since May. Oh, they've been increasing you. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I, yeah, I um, went there, and I, was, I had nothing in my system. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. was at the lowest of low. Right. Well, that's where I started, too, at zero. Uh, so, you know, ideally, when we use hormone pellets, we won't gain weight. In fact, you know, one of the benefits of hormone pellets is that by increasing our testosterone and allowing us to gain muscle, we can actually burn more fat. So it's really frustrating when that happens. I'm so sorry that's happened to you. Yeah. Um, but any of those hormones, well, either of those hormones, estradiol or testosterone, can cause weight gain if they're given in higher doses than what I would suggest. So it's a, it's usually, if not always, a dosing situation. So one of the things about hormone pellets is that it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. So if a patient of mine were gaining weight, I would not increase their hormones because that would be a signal to me that they were already getting too much. Uh, testosterone and estrogen can make us retain water. So another interesting thing to do would be, and you, you may have done this, the body composition, which we do at our office, to see where the weight's coming from. You know, sometimes we'll see a patient's gain five pounds of water, which is easy right. to address with a short-term diuretic. Other times they've gained, gained five pounds of muscle. Now, that, that's probably not the case for you because you feel great if that were the case. Right. <laughs> Uh, but it's if you've gained, not. yeah, if you've gained five pounds of fat, that's a that's a different story, and we certainly don't want that. We you know we want the right. hormones to kick you into a fat burning um, situation where you're able mm -hmm. to burn more fat as your basal metabolic rate goes up. So right. I'm really glad you're feeling better. That's wonderful. I, do. Um, I feel so much better. Yeah, well, that's fantastic because the hormones are obviously high enough to get rid of all the symptoms that you are having. What, what are some of the symptoms that have gone away? Oh, I think I had every symptom on that piece of paper that they send out about menopause. Um, I have, well, now I'm sleeping, thank goodness. Wonderful. I was probably only sleeping an hour and a half, two hours, and I was awake, and then sleeping another two hours, and I had terrible hot flashes, and um, I was irritable, and I didn't think I was, but my husband told me I was. <laughs> yeah, they usually are the... Sometimes you just don't know. <laughs> they're usually the first to know. So, so... Right. If all your symptoms went away, your dose is obviously high enough. So, yeah. so we can say that for sure. And then I would guess that for you, your dose is probably too high. Now, mm -hmm. um, if, if we set our minds on a specific number that we want a patient to get to, for example, if we want every patient to get to an estradiol level of 100 or make up a number, we're going to find mm -hmm. patients have side effects because everybody's not the same. Some people feel really good on a lower dose and others are retaining water and, and gaining fat because their dose is too high. Mm -hmm. So I think just because of your history, you've shown us that your dose is too high for you if you've, got, right. if you've gained weight. Um, and right. it's really frustrating. Now, it is reversible, but you know one of the main complaints that we have and i'm sure that that you had is that you don't want to gain weight i mean that's like the last right. thing that we want right right i know and it's hard because you know i've gained the weight however i feel so much better that's like oh i don't know which one 
I, I want to have it all, and I feel well, like we can. I think you can. Um, I think you can have it all. So, so you've proven that your dose is high enough, and I think mm -hmm. that you've shown that your dose is too high for you. Mm -hmm. And so you could lower the dose and still have symptom relief and not have right. the weight gain. So I think you definitely can find the happy medium. And it's really frustrating when this happens for, you know, for us too as the providers, because we just want everything to be perfect. Um, but definitely for our patients, it's very frustrating. Occasionally we'll have patients who have weight gain too. I mean, it, it's nothing that the provider did wrong. It just sometimes right. happens because someone can be more sensitive than we expect. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think a, a really good, um, idea as a provider is to dose on the low side when we're starting out because occasionally people will have this uh, so-called, you know, I would call it a hypersensitivity to the hormones and have more side effects than others. Mm -hmm. So we always start dosing lower than expected. And if someone was having a side effect like weight gain, I would not want to increase the dose to get the piece of paper to read a certain number because your, your body's telling us that you're getting too much. It's not harmful. Yeah. I mean, you feel great, so that's wonderful. Yeah. But um, you know, weight gain is—you know—who wants that? Um, we want you to—we <laughs> want you to have it all. So the—the the issue would be, you know, how to explain this to your provider. You know, if they have said in their mind that they want you to be at a certain level, um, you know, you might have to have a—you uh, know—pretty good discussion with them about the fact that you know your weight gain is showing that your levels could be lower. Um, and, you know, patients, we always respond to patients' wishes in our office, and, you know, sometimes people just feel better on a much lower dose than one would think. So I would, personally, if I were you, keep on the protocol because you feel really well and just see if you can get them to try dosing, you know, quite a bit lower, and I think your side effects will still be gone, um, uh -huh. and you won't have the weight gain to deal with. That would be so great. That would be so great. I know. I think um, next week I'm due for another pellet insertion. So I wasn't sure if I should just say hold off on it or should they just lower dose me next week? Yeah, so the pellet is going to um, metabolize at the same rate no matter what <laughs> dose you get with, with you know within reason. So if you've been at, say, three and a half months and you do for another pellet, what I would do in your situation is just get a lower dose. Okay. Because we don't want it to totally disappear. If you if you held off on getting another pellet, the one you currently have will completely disappear in a few weeks, and you'll go back to having those same symptoms again, which would be miserable. It sure would. So that would I be would. Terrible. Yes, we don't want that. So perhaps I would just talk to them about trying a lower dose. Um, okay. And you know, hopefully they'll be open to listen to your concerns because you know weight gain—that's a significant amount of weight. Um, Mm -hmm. And you know that's a close, that's a dress size, as we all know. That's significant. We don't want you to have to deal with that. Yes. So I yes. think um, the idea that you mentioned that it will just kind of even out and go away on its own. I'm not quite sure if that's true. Um, in fact, what we see with pellets when we get one after another is uh, what we call a stacking effect, where the dose actually goes up in in your blood because you've got a little bit of the old pellet and then now we're adding another pellet and so your levels will actually go up over time. So in order to keep your levels the same over time, we actually need to decrease the pellet dose. So if they gave you the same dose this time, it would even go up further because you're not right. starting from zero anymore. Uh, right. So dropping the dose for subsequent pellets is something that we do most of the time. Uh, but especially for someone who's having any type of side effect that could be related to the level being a bit high. Mm -hmm. That's excellent information. Thank you so much. Well, it's so my much. pleasure. I'm so glad you're feeling better, but I'm like you. I want you to have it all. You can have it all. <laughs> so I, think so. <laughs> I would love to hear back from you in a few months about how this goes, and hopefully you'll let us know that you're feeling fantastic and you dropped the dose a little bit and you got that 10 pounds, 10, 12 pounds off again and feeling back to your old self, but even better than before. Absolutely. I will definitely call you back and let you know how things are going. Well, thank you for sharing this question. I know it's a question that a lot of people have, and it's very generous of you to ask it because so many people want to know about pellets and weight gain. So uh, right. thanks for sharing, and let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear the flip side of the story. Okay, I absolutely will. Thank you so much for taking my call today. My pleasure, and you have a great afternoon. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. 
So that was such a great question. Uh, the number one complaint that we have, apart from all the common menopausal symptoms, is weight gain. So of course we don't want to gain more weight. And it's just not true that pellets make you gain weight. We, I have not seen that in the thousands of patients that we've experienced with pellets. Just a few have gained some weight temporarily when their dose was too high because they were very sensitive. So it's really important, I think the number one takeaway, is to make sure your provider doses you a little bit lower than the calculator suggests, especially the first time, because you don't know how you're gonna react. So it's really easy to get a little bit more if your dose too low, but it's not so easy to drop the dose if your dose too high, you have no option but to just wait for it to wear off. So that was a great question. So we're gonna come back shortly with another question on Ask Dr. Susan Live. And if you have a question for me, you can submit it to drsusan.com slash ask.